We all have that one friend, like we love them, we, all, we hang out all the time, but then that one topic comes up and you butt heads, you just disagree, right? You're like, I don't believe that at all. Now, the other day I'm talking to a client and we discovered this embedded belief system about I should take orders wait for somebody to tell me what to do and it was so stuck within him that he wouldn't wouldn't speak he would wait wait until someone gives the green light the a-okay you can now speak you can now express yourself so in this video i want to go into why that is completely false how you can shift out of it so that you can start to see it from a different reality and a new belief system that actually gets you what you want What's up guys, my name is Sarah, and I actually travel the world coaching thousands of people how to 10X their confidence, how to get a better understanding of their social awareness, their skill set, so they can have deeper, better connections in their personal life and in their business life. So let's get into this topic because I wanna tell you exactly why this is false. I know why that is completely untrue, but for him, he had to live this. He went through a relationship for a full year where because he wasn't leading, because he wasn't taking action, he wasn't being assertive and congruent to what he wanted to do, because he didn't even know what that was, she just lost attraction and that relationship really just turned into a friendship. There was no intimacy, which is really what he wanted to have. And so unfortunately for him, with this belief system that he currently has, he misses out on that. He doesn't get relationships that go into deep connection. He doesn't get to spend time with people that's not just fun and games and surface level because other people can't connect with him because he's coming from an angle where he's waiting. He's waiting to be led. He doesn't know what decisions he can make on his own because he's waiting for someone to tell him exactly what to do. He's waiting for those orders. And so he's in this fight, this battle, right? He's been constrained down and battling to get what he really wants, which is that intimacy in relationships, but he's never gonna get it if he doesn't start to lead, if he doesn't have to start to have conviction, if he doesn't know what he wants. So this stemmed from his childhood and he actually grew up in China with a really dominant mother figure and a father who didn't stand up for himself. And that was his role model. He would look up to his dad to learn that skill set. And when he saw in this relationship that whatever his mother said, his father did, he learned the exact same behaviors. So when his mother gave him an order, he would listen, he would stand to attention every single time. And this shaped his belief system. This shaped how he would show up with his friends growing up. It, you know, if he expressed himself, it was like, no, 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 don't do that. And so he would be quiet, he would be reserved, he would be a good boy because that got him positive results in that childhood. But if he lets that go, and if he learns the skill set of leadership, he learns the skill set to express himself, to connect with people, to say what he wants to say, being unfiltered, then he really opens up that door to new relationships that have better quality connections, and he can actually start to fulfill his potential. Because if he maintains that old belief system of waiting to take orders from his mom, who now isn't with him, he's moved away from China, he's not now in that environment, and he has realized how bad that belief system is affecting him. Because all he gets is friendships. Everyone's friends with him, but there's no deep connection. So if he substitutes this belief system with a new one, with a new skill set, with a new understanding, he now gets access to that. He now gets control over his life. He now gets to feel more fulfilled. He gets to express himself more and see these relationships start to blossom around him, not only with himself, which means his self-esteem and confidence is gonna go up, but how people perceive him. They'll be open to wanting to get to know him, not just on a friendship level, which is amazing, but not exactly what he wants, but on an intimate level. So they will see him through a different lens when he makes these adjustments. Now, what I got him to do to get himself out of this belief system is apply some really simple processes, some drills, some exercises that completely crush through the, the waiting for an order to be said. And now he did it himself. He would start to take that action. He would be loud. He would be expressive without the permission, without waiting for somebody else to give it to him. And once he applied this, suddenly people are now gravitating towards him as the center of like engagement of, of energy 
energy and they want to be around him because now they're in the position where they're waiting for someone to lead. So with these really simple leadership exercises, you can also apply this because if you're someone that has a similar upbringing or similar things that have happened, then you too should learn this. It's actually exciting to learn. It's actually a really fun process and it blows everybody away when you apply these really simple things. Creating instant connection in less than 60 seconds, being able to connect with someone, being able to gain the trust and rapport of someone, being able to get the respect by leading, by making assertive decisions. It completely transforms how people view you. If you want to get a full assessment on this and actually know where you're at, then click the link in the description and I'm giving out a free assessment and a consultation call so you know what areas you need to fill in so you can as well get to that next level and actually have more connection with people in the right way especially if you're if you're like this client who is waiting to be led you don't want to do that anymore you want to take charge you want to take leadership and you want to get the result that you are longing for and for his particular case having more connection was what he wanted and he was he allowed himself he gave himself that permission by learning these processes and now he gets to have it he's not waiting in the background waiting for it to happen he's getting it for himself and you can do the same thing if you're loving this content then click that subscribe button and if you want to take advantage of getting a free consultation call that gives gives you an assessment and tells you exactly what exercises you need to improve your areas, then click the link in the description and it'll take you straight to that page where my team will reach out to you and organize that call. And again, leave your comments. Did you resonate with this story? Has something similar happened for you? Or has something completely opposite? Put that in the comments. Give me your feedback. I love it. I appreciate you guys so much and I'll see you next time.